Hi, I'm back at you with another video. Now, again, this is going to be a bit of a, you know, more real video. I can't bother with the whole staging and questions and all that. I just want to talk about things that I'm interested in, um, you know, and hopefully other people are. If not, well, you know, switch up the video. Simple. So, what I want to talk about today is true love and, you know, does it exist? Or, well, that, you know, Let's just talk about love, because I don't think, you know, I shouldn't be questioning does it exist, because it's stupid. Because it does exist. But, what is love? You know, that's an age-old question. Um, it's been wrote about for thousands of years, you know. Poets have tried to describe it. Um, some have been very good and very eloquent at it. Um, but my opinion, you know, is quite similar. I, I'm, I am a bit of a poet. I know you might not think that, but you know, I'm fairly good with my words every now and then. I have my moments. Um, but basically, what love to me is, you know, it changes obviously, you know, you've got your, you, you've got your family, so you love your family in a, in a totally different way to how I would love a woman. Um, you know, or, you know, you women would love a guy, or women, women, because of guy guys, you know, whatever. But you know, how you love a partner is totally different. So, you know, basically, usually to me, to me, what it, what the experience would be, would be very similar to like you know, every time you see that person, you know, you just, you're just filled with a, a rush. You know, don't get me wrong, it might, you know, fade out a little bit over time, but it goes into a different. A different stage, I would say. You know, there's a different different stages of love, um, but definitely, you know, especially at the start, especially at the beginning, you should just be filled with such a rush of like, you know, euphoria, you know, excitement that you've seen them, um, even if it's for just a minute, uh, just just even even a text. I know we're in a bit of a digital age now, so you know, it's a text or you know. Like, you know, Facebook or whatever, but you know, when their name pops up on your phone, you know, you get that kind of ooh, um, kind of feeling. Well, I don't do that as so high, you know, ooh, you know, that kind of manly thing. Um, but yeah, you know, you get that kind of, you know, giddy feeling when you know when that happens. Um, and it's, a, I'm sure it's a great feeling. You know, it's a, it's definitely a, an awesome feeling to have. Um, and I mean that. That transcends as well to a lot of other things, you know. Like when you're, if you are in love, I would I would say you'd be always constantly thinking about that person. You know, I can't get them out out of your mind. You know, as fucking irritating as it might be. You know, not not them being irritating, but you know, your mind just won't stop. You know, it just doesn't switch off. And you know, it, it's like you know, you you try to distract yourself, but all of a sudden you just see them there. Uh, and you just can't take your mind off them. Uh, so you know, it, I would say that definitely, there's many ways. Uh, you know, I, I could go on. I could go on for fucking ages talking about this because it's just s such a beautiful thing. You know, people that say, "Oh, I'm, I'm never gonna get, never go like you know, never get married, never do this, never do that." I'm like, you know, you, you obviously haven't experienced this. You know, because if you've experienced what I've experienced, um, you know, and other people have experienced, you wouldn't think like that. You just wouldn't. But there's the other side, which is possibly why they're saying this, is because they've been in love and they've been hurt by it. Now, love does really crazy things to the mind. Now, everybody, everybody knows how, you know, crazy people get, <laughs> you know, the it's probably one of the biggest killers out there, you know, like, crime of passion is, uh, you know, huge. And, you know, it's because we become so emotionally attached to that person. And sometimes, you know, we, we physically, you know, we we actually, like, you know, maybe shared bank accounts or shared, like, you know, house or something like that. It, some of these things are big things. So when things go wrong and, you know, you can't actually figure it out, all of a sudden it gets 
very very extreme you know you, it's, it just it goes wrong in it goes wrong bad it's like you know you just put fucking gasoline onto a fire and you just it just comes up at you now people can get very very bitter about it very bitter you know particularly after a breakup or anything like that um, you know and I, I see it happen a lot luckily luckily fingers crossed the fingers crossed that I you know most of the time my my breakups have been yeah they've been shit sometimes um, but I've managed to kind of savour them after um, mainly because of my youth uh, you know I totally blame this on my youth because when I was when I was younger I was very cold um, so as soon as I switched that switch it was like <laughs> um, so it makes me feel so bad actually even talking about it um, but yeah like, you know that's just how I was I, I tried to distance myself as quick as possible but it wasn't the right way to do it uh, you know with certain people I, I think it was a very good decision but with other people I shouldn't have um, you know but you know we live and learn and you know that that's part of the learning process about it but for people to get bitter about that stuff or you know I don't I don't agree with that so you know say whatever's whatever's happened in your past you, you can't allow that to affect your future so anything that happened previously you shouldn't bring them into the next relationship that's that's the worst thing you could ever do because then you're going to put certain pressures and certain um, expectations on that other that you know you need part um, which is ridiculous you know it's like it's like starting starting a book but like you know reading the blurb and you know you already know what the end of it like you know the story is so you don't really find out actually that was a bad but no, that wasn't a very good reference. But say if you read the back, like the red end page, you, you read how how it ended. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm fucking myself out there. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. But yeah, don't bring it towards the next relationship. That's what I'm trying to say. Fucking hell. Um, but yeah, but yeah, like you know, love to me is a beautiful thing, um, you know, and I encourage it as much as possible. Um, you know in all forms, you know, loving what you do, loving your job, loving your family, loving your friends, you know, to a certain degree, um, you know, loving your animals, whatever, you know, whatever you love, but I do encourage it in all, all forms, but anyway, have a nice night, take it easy guys.